Hi guys, welcome to TOK today. If you're new here, welcome for the first time. And if you're a returning viewer, a big warm welcome back. So today I just wanted to give you some update news, some big news that we have coming up on TOK exhibition prompts. Uh, but first of all, let me talk a little bit about subscribers. We now have, I'm just checking now, 586 subscribers to the channel. So I just want to give my heartfelt thanks to those 586 wonderful people who have clicked the subscribe button. It means a lot to me. It means a hell of a lot to me. I don't expect you to subscribe. I don't necessarily feel that I deserve to be subscribed to. It's great that 586 of you have shown the generosity to commit to the channel like that. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. And, you know, anyone else who is feeling extra generous or wants to help the channel out, then please do hit subscribe. I super, super appreciate it. I've noticed that we've got a lot of subscribers coming in from the uh, November session, so people who tend to be based in the Southern Hemisphere, so welcome to all our new viewers who are coming in from Australia, New Zealand, South America, uh, I saw Peru popping up there, hello Peru. At this point I just have to jump in and say hello to Singapore. I'm really sorry that I forgot to mention you, Singapore, but we've got lots of loyal viewers in Singapore. So, hello, Singapore. We're reaching out across the world, and that's, that's really, really great. Okay, thank you to the subscribers. Moving on. So that gives me a little bit of a chance to tell you a bit about what, what I'm doing here. Uh, I set up Talk Today nine months ago as a resource to produce accessible resources for students and teachers of theory of knowledge. Because theory of knowledge can seem very complicated. It can seem very abstract. People often say to me, I, I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't understand what's going on. It, it's all a bit of a fog to me. And I think, um, but TOK should be super easy. Hmm. For the DP student, TOK should be like an oasis in the week. So you're going from lesson to lesson, from assignment and IA to assignment to IA, and it's all busy, 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 and you're doing cast, and you're doing extended essay, and you're being a teenager, and then you get to TOK, and it should just be this sort of beautiful time when you get to reflect and to think about things in a different way and to see the world, the sort of awe and wonder of the world in a different way. Um, it shouldn't be a stress. It shouldn't be difficult. It's an easy course. And that's what TOK today is here to help you to do. The YouTube videos here are just the tip of the iceberg, right? They're just like the... The, 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 they're just a very small taster of what is available on the TOKToday.com website. Link in the video description. On the TOKToday.com website, there is much more detail, uh, much more content, both free and paid content um, available to help you with your TOK course. Let me just run through some of the things that we have on the TOK Today website. Lots of content on the exhibition, which is very popular at the moment. I see lots of people clicking on those pages. Fully worked through commentaries on the prompt, showing you how to structure your commentary, showing you how to link the objects to the, uh, to the prompt, and how to put knowledge claims in so that you're developing specific knowledge content which will get you good marks. We've got lots of content on the TOK essay. At the moment up there I have a page on each of the uh, November 23 essays for example and, uh, and also there are really good essay guidance notes, detailed essay guidance notes and questions for AI if you're going to be using AI uh, to help you to write your essay. We've got com content on the TOC concepts that will help you throughout your TOK course uh, and help you in all areas of your TOK course. I've got content on the TOK themes such as uh, knowledge and language and knowledge and technology. 
And finally, I've got some content, some ideas around TOC skills, because I think that TOK is actually a skills-based course. The IB barely mentions skills in the TOK study guide, and yet skills are central to the course. If you learn the TOK skills, you do really, really well in TOK. So as TOK teachers, we're teaching a set of skills. And that conveniently leads me into the news about the TOK exhibition prompts. So a couple of weeks ago, a teacher wrote to me and she said, I really like the content that you've put together on the TOK exhibition so far. Um, do you have a document where you go through every single prompt? And I thought, wow, that would be a big document but it could be quite useful. And if, if there's a teacher who's asking for it, there might be other teachers and students who would find that useful. So I started to write uh, a document of every single TOK prompt explained, okay? There are 35 prompts. It's gonna take me a very, very long time. So no, not very, very long time. It'll take me a few weeks to do. Uh, so I'm releasing them in blocks of five, five prompts at a time. And you'll see on the TOK Today website that I've already done prompts one to five and prompts six to 10. And I'm about to start, to start working on prompts 11 to 15. And that should be out early next week, I think. And by the end of next week, we should have 15 to 20 and so on and so on. You get the idea. And if you get that document, what it will tell you for each of the five prompts in the document that you get, it will tell you, uh, give you an overview of that prompt, what, what that prompt could mean, my interpretation of the prompt. It will give you three knowledge claims which are linked to the prompt. Now, that sounds complex and boring, but they're basically perspectives on the prompt. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to develop specific knowledge arguments for that prompt, which is what gets you the high marks. And then it gives you a, uh, suggestions for objects that you could use for each of the prompts. Now, I know the IB want the exhibition to be a authentic reflection. And of course, it should be an authentic reflection. So this document is my reflection, and hopefully that will help you to uh, do your reflection and to come up with something even better than mine, which I'm sure that you can do. So you can get those um, prompts, uh, TOK exhibition prompts explained on the toktoday.com website. Link in the video description. Okay, uh, it's really great when I get feedback from viewers. I love to receive your comments um, and you can put them in the YouTube comments boxes or you can email me at daniel at toktoday.com. Whenever I can respond to requests for content, I do. So in the last couple of weeks, a student wrote to me and she said, um, can you produce a video on um, prompt 15? Um, so it worked for, for my workflow, so uh, I, I put together a video for, for that. Uh, this teacher has asked, can you put together a document for all the prompts explained? Yeah, works for my workflow. I'll try to do that. So I always try to meet and keep our viewers happy. Um, so please give your feedback to me. Um, I'd be really happy if you hit uh, like and subscribe. That would be really great. Thank you for watching. Stay toptastic. Have a really wonderful day. Adios and bye.